laugh at my jokes, see? It's good. Beautiful. All that. Good. My name is Peter Hurley, and I am a portrait photographer here in New York. And I specialize in shooting a lot of headshots. Pull that. Forehead out. Drop the elbow back for me a little bit. That's better. That's it. Nice. Right there. Keep your chin up in there, please. No, no, no. I meant just stay positive. Yeah. <laughs> My goal of everybody is to get them to walk out of here with a little skip in their step. Maybe feeling a little bit better about their appearance than they had prior to walking in here. If I did that, then I gave them experience that's more than just a headshot. Good, that's it. I'll lay some of my crap on you. Smush your knees together for me. And then pigeon toe your feet slightly. They... <laughs> I say, see, that's how I do it. That's really how I do it. Turn your hips slightly towards the rock of Gibraltar. <laughs> that's how it's done. <laughs> that's how it's done. You could figure out how to make people laugh in front of the camera. It eases the tension, makes people chill out, gets you shots that you need. People get in front of the camera and they don't really know what they're doing. Even seasoned models have like five moves. The biggest thing that they do wrong is that they, people become uncertain. They don't know what to do. They don't know how to behave. They're not used to being there. So whenever we become uncertain as humans, our eyes widen. I want to get the camera out of the way. I call it camera invisibility. I want it to be like a conversation between me and them. I, I do constantly talk while I shoot. It's partially my personality and it's partially to try and occupy the other person's thoughts. Like I don't want the person thinking about the camera because my work is all about the interaction between me and the human being. The one on the left is better than that one. Let's see. That I like. Yeah. have to get used to the head position. That I like. Yeah, it feels weird. Yeah. I always say feels weird, looks good. I think the photographer has to look through and really engage the person and tell them, hey, you, you, you're not looking all together there, if they're not, you know. I acknowledge everything, but I have to gauge how I speak to people dependent upon their confidence level in front of the camera. Some people come in and they're very confident people, but they get in front of the camera and they fall apart. But they can handle me hammering them a little bit. But some people come in very timid and shy, and I can't go directly at them as much as I would somebody who's a confident person. Somebody that's timid and shy is gonna fall apart if I say, hey, what are you doing with your face? Why would you do that? Now we're talking, now we're talking. Oh, I love it. People ask me, well, can I do it? And what I say to them, I started by plopping my butt on a windowsill and shooting black and white and processing my own film. I would process it in my apartment. I shot in a studio apartment with one window. Do you need a medium format camera? No. Do you need a decent DSLR? Maybe. I think anybody can do it with any camera at any level. It's really not the equipment. You know, it's nice to have the great equipment. I love it. And I'm, you know, I have clientele walking in here that, that might expect to see that equipment. But that does, should not hamper anybody from getting started or taking a, an amazing headshot.